welcome back to a new video. It's been so long since I feel like I picked up the camera and I feel like I said that last time, but let me tell you, baby boy's five months old, so that just shows how long it's been. Um, life's just been crazy. Three kids is not really easy. Mom life of three has been quite difficult. Say hello. Say hello. He just woke up from a little nap and he is very cranky today, huh? Very cranky last night. I don't know if he's getting sick or if he's getting CT. It's one or the other. Um, he's been just like kind of having some pain and it kind of feels like he's having a little bit of ear pain in this ear. I don't know. I can't tell because like, again, it started last night out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, he's, um, he's been a handful. It's been quite difficult with three between all their schedules at school. Um, so, haven't really been filming. I haven't really been picking up the camera. I haven't really been focusing on YouTube. I've been focusing a lot more like on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Um, it's just honestly with having a baby, I feel like the quicker, um, like videos are just easier, um, to film. So yeah, but I thought I kind of like missed posting. So I was like, yeah, well, let's do a little Sunday vlog. It's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, yeah, life's just been crazy. So we're not really doing much today. You're probably gonna see me looking like this all day, a little raggedy, but, um, I just ordered some groceries. So we got some groceries away. Um, we're gonna make some buffalo chicken dip because hubby requested for the game. Um, we're just keeping it just us to keep it pretty easy just because <laughs> I thought about doing like a little Super Bowl party, but honestly, with him being the way he is, and then Asher has like a little bit of a cough too, so I'm like, eh, let's not have anyone over. And we actually just left to go help a friend of ours get a dresser off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and yeah, we're just hanging out. We're gonna put our groceries away. Um, do some laundry, make some buffalo chicken dip, and I don't know what else we're gonna do. Let's go get the groceries. Get some, get some different angles. Check, do you guys want a little grocery haul? Let's put the groceries like out of the bags and we'll do a little grocery haul. It's been a minute since we've done one of those. I didn't get too much groceries. I just kind of got a few things for dinner this week and then <clears throat> a few things because Asher is having some teeth work done. Oh, a tooth work. Um, if you guys know, I don't know if you guys are even following, Asher fell on his like second day of school and he smacked his mouth on the floor and he actually caused damage to his tooth and for a while there we were actually like monitoring the tooth like watching uh, to see what would happen to it um after like three months since it happened ended up finding out the tooth actually ended up dying so we need we either need to save the tooth with a root canal or pull the tooth um i don't really want to do either of them but the doctor was like, or the dentist was like, he would be toothless for like four years because he's just turned four. Um, he's like, so it's up to you if you want to be toothless. Um, it can cause issues with like the other teeth around, like pushing, because it'll be toothless for four years. Or basically um, either that or pulling the tooth out or doing a root canal. And it's his first tooth like right here. And I really don't want to do a root canal, but the dentist persuaded me. Um, more so just because he's like, it will prolong his teeth in the long run with his like adult teeth coming in. Um, and then it will give him four years not being completely toothless. So we are doing a root canal. So with that being said, um, if you need some like soft foods and some comforting stuff, the root canal alone will only be like five minutes long, which is great. Um, but yeah, so just grabbed him some stuff for that so he can feel a little bit better. This is the haul. $200. What? Where? I don't know. The the cost of groceries is just ridiculous, but this is what we got. Let's go over here first. Um, the kids wanted these like Care Bear thingies. Um, I wanted a blue and a yellow one, but they gave me a purple and pink. Um, I don't know why they really wanted these, so I'm going to put it in their Valentine's Day baskets. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, 
these are four dollars. I thought they're gonna be much bigger, but it's okay. Got those. Um, I got this for Roros. I'm gonna put it in his Valentine's basket. It's a strawberry apple um, soothe and chew. We have the banana one, and he loves these. Um, he kind of just like bites on it, but it's not. It doesn't like. It takes so long. So like he's actually. I just gave him one right now. He <laughs> but he's playing with it right now. Is it good? Rowan. Why wow, you can't see him? <gasps> what they look like he loves it and he just like plays with it is it good um so i got this for valentine's and i also got him one of these sorry if you can hear my dishwasher so i got him this um also i'm gonna put it in his valentine's basket um but also we've been doing just a little bit a tiny bit of water like literally less than an ounce for when he eats um dinner um because i'm kind of going into the purees into a little bit chunkier so Sometimes he gags, so a little bit of water kind of helps a little. Um, don't come at me. This is my third baby. A tiny bit of water, like not a lot. Sometimes I just do breast milk, but sometimes just water. Um, but I liked the shape, and I like the handles. Uh, since he's still really young, it's kind of helpful. He hates bottles. So I'm hoping maybe he likes this. Probably not. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Valentine's basket. And I got him a book. What do you get a five-month-old? There you go. <laughs> Next, we got some avocados. We've been loving, as a family, avocado toast. I've been on a kick with sourdough bread. I've been making it, like, a couple times a week. Um, and we've been loving avocado toast on the sourdough slices. And then Rowan also loves avocado. Um, I already said that. I got these for Asher for, again, when he does his little surgery. Um, he should be pretty much, like, good to go. But I feel like still just have some softer foods throughout, like, the rest of the couple days. I've had root canals. They kind of hurt. Um, and it's his front too, so I don't know how he's gonna be with eating, but I know he'll definitely eat these. He loves these. Um, so I got those. Um, we also need a toothpaste. This is the only toothpaste that the kids will use is this Hello um, Watermelon one. So got that. I just got this ranch. I wanted the Hidden Valley, but they didn't have it, so they substituted it for this one. Um, but need this for the buffalo dip. I got this for the buffalo dip too. It's just the Swanson white chicken breast. I got the two large cans. Um, got that for the chicken, buffalo chicken. I got some Sarah Delee, no wait, Sarah Lee Delight um, white bread. The kids like this one for their peanut butter and jellies. Um, we do other kinds for their like ham and cheeses and stuff, but they like this one only for peanut butter and jelly. Um, I got a cantaloupe. If you know me, I hate cantaloupe so much. I hate the smell of cantaloupe. My kids love it and I have to get it for them. So got a cantaloupe, got some fresh strawberries. These actually look really yummy. You never know when you click list. So got some strawberries. I got some stars, little pasta. Um, I'm going to make after like kind of like a little chicken soup, um, but literally he likes it very plain. So we're just gonna do some noodles, some like broth, um, some, a little bit of chicken and carrots and like that's it. That's all he really likes, but I'm gonna make him a chicken soup. Um, we needed sour cream um, and we needed some of these refried pinto beans. We've been loving like tostadas, tostados, tostadas, tostadas, like the tostada, tostado, I don't know which one it is. And then you put the refried beans and like ground beef or chicken or something, oh my God, so good. So <laughs> we're gonna have it for dinner again this week. So I just had to get the beans. Um, I got some cream cheese um, for the buffalo chicken dip. I got some tortilla chips the party size because this bag is one sitting for my little family of five um i got some organic bananas i got this chobani flip strawberry cheesecake for hubby um he likes these ones i don't really like i don't know i like yogurt but i have to be in the mood next thing i got was for asher too was these strawberry jello cups it's an eight count so some strawberry jello chobani oat milk because this is the milk my kids use i got this for asher he's never really had um, what is this, sherbet, 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 uh, but I got this for him too, so hopefully he likes these, um, next thing I got for him too were these, um, smoothie, these, I've never seen these before, um, but these are like, they're like in a hockey puck thing, and you just throw them into the blender with some juice, um, so I grabbed that for him, and then also this orange fruit and vegetable smoothie, um, uh, just so, you know, he can make him some smoothies, the kids love smoothies in the morning too. Next thing I got were two Funfetti cake mixes, um, and then I got a strawberry frosting and then some icing. I'm making the kids a Valentine's Day heart cake for Valentine's Day, and then I'm also making Cameron one to bring it to his coworkers. Um, the coworkers are having the strawberry frosting. The kids will have a white frosting. 
uh, which I already have. Next thing I got was some all-purpose flour. Um, kind of irritated because I wanted um, the unbleached one, but they gave me all-purpose flour, which is bleached, but it's okay. Um, next thing I got was parchment cookie baking sheets. I like these for the um, when I'm making the sourdough bread. I like the ones that are in the sheets already. It's just easier. Um, next thing I got was some light brown sugar because we go through this like, I don't know, so fast um, between like our coffees and cookies. So got some light brown sugar. Next thing I got was some string cheese. The whole family loves string cheese as a snack. I got orga organic ground beef. I feel like it's been forever since I've talked on YouTube, so I don't know what I'm saying. Organic grass-fed ground beef. Got this. Um, got some lasagna um, noodles. I'm making a lasagna soup this week too. It's gonna be a soup week, you know, because of Asher. Um, lasagna soup, so good if you know, you know. Um, Cameron's favorite creamer is the plant oat. Um, milk creamer in the flavor French vanilla. I had to grab some ground, uh, ground some. <laughs> I had to grab some sliced cheese. The kids only like white American, so got some of that. I got two cans of Lacroix um, in the flavor passion fruit. If you haven't tried fat passion fruit, you need to. It's so good. Cameron typically likes like the sweeter sparkling waters, and this one's not that sweet. It's very subtle, but he's been loving it. So I got two cans this week. I got some Capri Sun. Um, I used to buy the Honest Brand juices, but this one actually has less sugar. And they've actually changed the um, ingredients, and it's like made with like monk fruit and mushroom extract. It's actually <clears throat> a lot cleaner than it used to be. Um, so yeah, grab that for Landon. And then also the kids wanted this for like lunches, um, the diced peaches. My mom got them into this, and they're obsessed now. So just grab that. And then we always need some paper plates. We're a paper plates household. We like paper plates. <laughs> I hate washing dishes sometimes, especially for like lunches. Um, I'm a stay at home mom. So we go through a lot of dishes, I feel like. Paper plates. Um, don't come at me. My four year old still uses a pull up for uh, sleeping. He doesn't always pee in them, but you know, sometimes he does. He's a very like, like hard sleeper. So when he's sleeping, he's sleeping. So sometimes he doesn't wake himself up. So. Had to get him some more pull-ups. We're trying to get him off of pull-ups at night for sleeping. He doesn't use them for naps, but he uses it for nighttime. So had to get him some pull-ups and then also some paper towels. And that is what I got for a hundred, no, two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. So before my kids come down and see everything, I'm putting their little Valentine's together at the Dollar Tree Fair. I found this at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm gonna love this, but <laughs> I know they will. Got them this, not the best for them, but they, I know they'll love it. It's this. It does have blue four, blue one in it, um, so <laughs> whatever. Um, we really like the um, Liquid IV kids ones. I actually have an order coming in. It just hasn't come in yet, so I got that just in the meantime. They love it as a treat. I got them each one of these. My kids love gum. I got them each one of those. They literally get the same thing because they are, if you don't get them the same thing, they like throw fit. Next thing, I got both of them one of these. They they like love this stuff. Like, I know they're four and six, but like they they love it. So that, I got this for my oldest. Uh, he's been reading, so got him that. Um, try staying away from getting them excess candy this year. Um, I feel like they just get so much. And I got them each this though. So. And that's what I got them for long time. We got this for hubby. And that's all we got. And then Roro, I got him the, the bottle, the chewers. And I found this book at the Target for him. It's like felt. He's been really liking like flipping books. And this is in the Target dollar spot for only three bucks. So got him this little book. And I can't believe I have Three Putting him for a nap. He doesn't want one. I know I'm making it. Um, kids are hungry, so we're gonna make them a quick little lunchy lunch. Um, camera should be coming home soon. He's going to get a car wash and then get what's the word called? Some stuff for lunch for the week. Um, I'm gonna give kids a quick little lunch they're hungry they're always hungry um i stopped finished putting the groceries away i just i kind of stopped talking to my friend nicole 
and then Rowan's getting a little fussy fuss. So I tried putting him for a nap and he doesn't want one. So I'm like, can't tell if it's like why he won't sleep. I don't know if it's like if he's in pain. I don't know. Um Yeah, so we're gonna make some lunch for the kitties. It's only 11.30. Kids are always hungry so early. Because we're hungry. They're growing boys, that's for sure. So, a little uh, ham and cheese action. Because we want some mussels. <laughs> okay. What? Some lunchy lunch, lunch, lunch. I'm actually starving, I haven't eaten today. Got some pretzels. I made cookies yesterday. The magnolia cookies always hit so good. I know the recipe by heart, so I make it all the time, but I have to pull up my flour. We'll be making so much sourdough this week, so I'm out. What are you doing? <gasps> oh. I didn't expect that to happen. So classy. Honestly, I feel like I wear this sweatshirt like almost every Sunday. Cause it's comfy. Yeah. I really have to put the food in the crock pot for Cameron's buffalo chicken dip. So let's do that quickly. How cute is my new crock pot? I got it from Walmart. It's bubble gum. If I can, I'll try leaking down below. Oh, I just got scared. Fun. I'm gonna do two cans of the white chicken, um, a block of cream cheese, some ranch, some hot sauce, like buffalo hot sauce, and then at the end, some shredded um, cheese. And that's it, that's all I do, so. What are you doing, Sunday boy? sauce be where like the dressings are like the like uh, salad dressing and stuff yeah why do you need um buffalo sauce oh yeah good thanks i just use the rest of your buffalo sauce for the <laughs> um the uh, buffalo chicken dip. I'm using this crock pot and it smells like plastic and I've already washed it but it still smells like burning plastic. Right now I just fed my sourdough starter. Um, so hopefully we can start a loaf of bread um, in a little bit. I'm hoping to like feed my starter now almost 12 o'clock then that way um later around at four i can do like some stretch and folds <sighs> since i'll be around with the super bowl so say hi so yeah we'll see i guess 
Um, this is where our sourdough is now. So hopefully it grows enough. We have some starter. I don't know. I have like all the starter built up. Um, I'm going to make some stuff with it. I just don't know what or when. I really need to get him down for a nap, but he just won't sleep, huh? You don't want to sleep? You don't want to sleep? My house is still a mess, so in case you're curious, this is real life. Um, real life, okay? I have to put a load of laundry in. I still need to finish putting this away. Um, in reality, the drinks Cameron can bring outside for me. And then the pull-ups have to go upstairs. And then paper towel have to go upstairs. But that's why it takes me forever to do anything. Huh. It doesn't help that he's not feeling good. Because usually he'll just play by himself a little bit. Yeah, but he's not feeling too good. So just a little bit slower of a day. But this is real life, right? Say happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Yummy. Good job. All done? Yeah. Okay. All done. Well, what are you going to write? Are you almost done with yours? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's still alive. He's going to perform at the Super Bowl. We are cleaning up, emptying up the dishwasher. We just finished um, making some Valentines. And we are putting the dishes away, trying to get ourselves all situated and nice, nice. So we can watch it's what? The Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. And I was just telling them that, like, Usher is performing and Lanny goes, is he still alive? What is this? I'm just making a Once you're done. Okay. Hello, oh, Mommy. Fed my starter earlier. And this is where it was. And look how much it's grown. So we are going to be making some really easy bread um, to start so we can do some stretching folds today and then put it um, to, to bulk ferment ferment overnight and then tomorrow we can bake some bread. Oh, perfect. So nummy. This is my starter. This is where it started and it nearly doubled. So we're going to do the float test quickly just to make sure she's ready to mix into some bread. And she floats. That's when you know that she is ready to make some bread. Um, I'm gonna make just one loaf today. 50 grams of starter. And we're gonna do 350 grams of water. <laughs> 500 grams of flour. And 10 grams of salt. Ash, be nice. Now we're gonna let it sit and we'll come back in a half hour and do our first stretch report. It's the next day. Um, literally just didn't end up filming anything else. We had buffalo chicken dip, made homemade pizza, watched the game, just hung out. Um, pissed that the 49ers lost, but that's okay. Um, dropped Ash off at school. Landon says he wants to take the bus, so we have to make him his lunch. Typically I have like 30-ish minutes home before I have to take it to school. But this morning I have to take the bus. I have like 10 minutes. <laughs> what do you want for lunch today? This is my last one. Look, what do you want with this? I have a sandwich, a yogurt. Let me cut you up some fruit. Some blueberries and strawberries or something? Blueberries 
Some days it'd be like that. Some days it'd be like that. Yesterday I did my sourdough. I did all the stretching folds. And I said I was going to show you and I didn't. And it bulk fermented overnight. Mommy. And it did not do a very good job. Do you see this? Oh, wait, actually, yes, it did. I only did one batch, so it's supposed to be small. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. I know how to spell bus. How do you spell bus? Bus. And then the B U C. Bus. B U C. S. There you go. This is when you know it's done. You see all the bubbles. See the top has kind of like a glisten. It kind of does a little jiggle. Um, after I drop it off the bus, I'm going to like round these out and um, get them ready to go inside the fridge so we could bake them later. So um, I just dropped Landon off at the bus, and I'm so proud of him. If you remember on like Instagram stories, I talked about it. Landon used to take the bus, and then because the bus is literally across the street from our house, um, and he loved it. And then all of a sudden, he hated taking the bus because he had an incident. I've been trying to get him, you know, I, it took months, like months of him trying to like figure out the whole bus situation because he just wanting nothing to do with it, which he wanted like nothing to do with it. And I'm like, you know what? I got to give him the benefit of the doubt that if he doesn't want it, then um, I'm not going to force him because it was just causing like, he just kept saying like something else was bothering him. It was someone on the bus. It was his stomach. It was, um, he'll miss me. He wants to spend more time with me. And now he's at the point where he actually wants to try this for you. So you're not supposed to help it, but. But yeah, he just didn't really want to take the bus anymore. And I was like, whatever. He asked me and I was like, yeah, of course you can take the bus. Um, so he took the bus home and he loved it. And then he said, I kind of want to take the bus home uh, to school on Monday morning. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, sure. I'm like, okay, you can take the bus. Like, no problem. Um, and he did. He took the bus this morning. So I guess we'll see how he does on the bus. I mean, like I said, he hasn't really been taking it anymore. Um, so... I guess we'll see. I'm proud of him though, because that's a big step. Like I'm talking, he's supposed to be, I mean, we live close enough where taking him in the morning is not that big of a deal, but I, between dropping Asher off and then going that line, getting home, going into the other car line, it just takes a while, I feel like. Um, we're just gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes and then we'll come back and shape again. I've noticed doing two folds before I um, put it in the fridge works better. Getting rid of all the gases or whatever. Well, let's hope that this bus thing continues because it'll be really nice, especially once the weather's nicer, it'll be nice just to go out in the morning. It's a little cold in the mornings, but it's not terrible. And it's nice because his bus gets him like, literally, I'm talking, we have a park like across the street from us and it's on the other side of the park. So it's like not even a minute walk. <laughs> um, and I'm already back at the house, and it's it was 8.42 when I got back to the house. Now I don't have to leave to get Asher till like 10.30. So, like, I have two hours instead of, I usually only have an hour. So, if we can continue that, that would be amazing. Um, I should feed my starter, too. Um, I may have to give some to my friend Natalie. She thinks she may have killed her starter because <laughs> she did whole wheat. Um, so, I may have to give her some. So, I should probably... I'm going to hang out with Roro for a little bit. He's a little bit of a sick baby, so he ended up doing okay last night. He slept a lot better than I thought. He slept in this morning, and I had to wake him up because we had to go bring Asher to school. So I woke him at, like, 7.40. He was just, like, still sleeping. I'm like, I'm so sorry. But we're going to hang out with him. He's in the little activity table just playing. I try really hard to make my kids have, like, hi, independent time. I try really hard to have my kids do independent time without me because I feel like that's really important for kids to be able to play alone. Um, but I also, I'm probably gonna go over there once I do the second stretch and fold and actually sit down and we'll do some play time before he takes his first nap. Hi, are you ready for mama? Are you ready? <gasps> Hello.
Rowan. Hi. Hello. It's going to be a pre-boring day. We're just going to be folding some laundry. It's Monday, so I'm just folding some laundry that I didn't fold yesterday. Um, I really want to read my book. I'm reading Akatar. Well, I've, I've read the first one, but I'm reading the Akatar series. So I read the first one already. Now I'm on um, the Mist and Fury. Mist and Fury. Fury. Mist and Fury. So good. I'm like halfway through it, so I'm like, I need to finish. <laughs> Go ahead and give this another shaping and then throw her in the fridge until later. I'm going to flower. I put kind of a lot because I feel like I don't ever want it to stick. So. You can hear like the gases, like the bubbles, like deflating. When I do this, I'm pushing up and pulling it back, and it's kind of forming like a little bit of a ball. I'm just going to put it same side up, yucky side up, and then that way uh, I'm just going to dust a little bit more flour on top. And then we're going to cover her and put her in the fridge until we're ready to bake her. Um, I'll probably, it's like I said, it's like 9.20 now, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, like 1, 30, 2 o'clock, I'll cook her maybe. Um, that's it. You got yourself some sourdough. Quick, and then I'm gonna hang out with my baby. Um, and maybe I'll show you guys once I bake her and everything, but I don't think I'm gonna show you guys anything else really today because I really gotta get my crap done. Snow suits, I gotta put away. I gotta get my house together, it's Monday, so. I need to make myself some breakfast. It is about one o'clock. Um, we are going to, I just turned on my oven to preheat my Dutch oven that's in there for 450. And now we are going to What's the word? Um, take a cookie, a baking sheet. Um, I really like these ones. These are pre-cut parchment paper. Um, I really like these. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour and then flip it over. I don't know. Did I already tell you guys that I have to give my friend some starter because she told hers. She fed it whole wheat and she thinks it just created just like. It's just like too much. Um, and I've already told you guys that. I forget when it comes to vlogging. Um, and I know it's done because I'm pushing it and it's coming back. It's not sticky. Give me a little loaf. I did do a smaller recipe this time. Uh, not a smaller recipe, but I usually. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Why don't you tell me? You can see now. Here's my loaf. I'm just going to take a razor blade. This is a clean razor blade, it's just for my sourdough. Um, and I'm gonna give her a little slice and then a little, a little slice on this side. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit on top. I feel like doing that just kind of helps it not burn, but we're going to let her sit here. She just came out of the fridge. Once the Dutch oven warms up, we'll put her in, cook her, I say cook, bake her for 25 minutes with the lid on, and then we'll bake it for another 20 minutes with the lid off, and she should be good. So I'll come back when she's all cooked. This loaf is actually going to my mom, um, half it's going to my mom, um, because she um, is watching Landon and Rowan tomorrow for like an hour when we bring Asher for his dental procedure. Um, and my mom loves sourdough bread and she's been loving it, so I'm gonna give her half a loaf because it's just her. So my stepdad is at home, uh, so it's just her. And then she'll have fresh bread and then I'll make her another loaf probably <laughs> in a couple days. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ignore me, I'm wearing my baby wrap because I was wearing throw in. 
he won't sleep. So, <laughs> and then I just had my friend come by and pick up that starter. But my bread did come out of the oven, and I was like, I'm gonna show you guys. And then I went and cut it and ate some because I made a sandwich. But this is the inside. She is perfect. It's so good. She's perfect. Like. Nice bottom, nice crunch on the top. She like this is a small piece. Are you kidding me? Like that's what you want to see. It was actually really really good. I just had some with um like a little like tuna sandwich, buffalo tuna sandwich. So many. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, I was gonna. I actually want to get like different shaped baskets because I feel like this is obviously the round shape what I have but I kind of want to do an oval because I feel like it'd be nice for like when you want to slice into it for like breads and stuff but this is what I have left I'm gonna give this one to my mom I'll keep this one I still actually have this loaf from when did I make this Saturday um it was more airy I did a different method and I just feel like it didn't release the gases enough like I guess like this is perfect. Like this is enough holes. Like this is small, tight crumb, perfect. You can actually like cut it and not get into holes. This one was a little bit more holy as you can kind of see like with this loaf. Way more holy. It was still really good, really soft, but it was more holy so it was harder to do things. And then my friend Natalie um, yesterday um, gave me this loaf, which is like a little quarter of it. Um, and it's, uh, uh, what is this? A cherry and chocolate chip. Um, this is her Valentine's Day loaf. You can see a little heart in there. Um, but she gave me some of this because I guess her husband and kid does not like it. But I do. I enjoyed it. My kids actually don't like this one either. I don't know what it is. I think it's like, it must be like the cherry. Because um, I'm pretty sure she uses a little bit of the cherry juice to give it a pink flavor. I'm going to show you guys. Or not pink flavor, a pink color. This is her loaf. Her loaf looks so good. It's Her loaves are amazing. Like She does such a good job on them. Like, I mean... Hers are always so soft, and her bottom is always so soft. I'm actually gonna have a little slice of this. This one's like more like dessert, you know what I mean? Like, look at that little. Um, but yeah. Um, well, the boys are awake. I don't know what to do with my life. Um, I folded one basket of laundry. I still have the old Rowan's laundry, but he just won't sleep. I tried putting him in the wrap. He's fighting it. Um. I do have to go pick up Landon in like an hour. So I'm hoping he falls asleep right before I have to go pick up Landon and I can just like walk him. I guess we'll see. After we open up his, but she brought little Valentine's for the boys. So sweet. Um, and yeah, I gave her some starter. Uh, so much to clean. I'm actually doing some laundry too. But hey, I'm gonna end the video here. I just wanted to show you guys the bread because I did forget to show you me cutting into it. I got distracted and then I was like really shaky because I was hungry. Um, Cause if you know, sometimes when you have a baby and the baby is like cranky and like doesn't want to be put down, it's kind of hard to eat sometimes. So it took me a little bit, but I'm gonna finish cleaning all this stuff up, switching over my laundry. Hopefully getting Rowan down for a nap soon and if you don't plan it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, a little vlog. I haven't like honestly posted in so long. I truly do want to get back into it, but I'm not gonna make any promises. Um I'm, I wanna at least like once a week, that would be cool. Um, but in the meantime, definitely follow me on my other social medias. Literally, it's just Ruthie Tara on Instagram and TikTok. And I post a lot more over there. Um, I've been posting actually like daily vlogs on TikTok and I've been having so much fun with that, especially my morning routine. Um, so yeah, follow me on those. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!